Hi everyone, welcome back to Viral Machinery Channel. In this video, we will discover how submarine and other its components are manufactured. Building a large submarine requires a massive amount of engineering work. Even the smallest parts require lots of time and effort to design and build. Firstly, take a look at the manufacturing process of propeller. Design, the specifications of boats and engine details will be collected from clients and that data will be our input for design calculations. The optimum design would be finalized with respect to the theoretical aspects as well as practical. Then AutoCAD drawings will be generated accordingly. Pattern making. Once the drawing is ready, patterns would be made from wood as per the drawings providing required shrinkage and machining allowances. Propeller patterns would be checked thoroughly by using pitchometer. Smooth surface will be generated for smooth castings. Molding. Using the patterns the sand molds will be generated in metal mold boxes by sufficient ramming. CO2 gas will be fed into the molds for mold strengthening. Highly skilled foundry men are there to produce top quality molds with fine-tuned runner and riser design for better castings. Casting. Once the molds are ready, alloy metal ingots will be melted in the oil-fired tilting crucible furnace to the melting point. Then the molten metal will be poured into the molds to form metal casts, thereafter leaving the metal to get solidified at room temperature. Quality control the castings will be inspected thoroughly for defects. Dye penetrant and ultrasonic testings would be done if required. Castings would be either accepted or rejected according to the criteria. Machining. The casts as well as the stainless steel and mild steel raw shafts, tubes and plates will be taken for undergoing operations such as machining, drilling, shaping, milling, welding, grinding. Then buffing will be done for smooth metal surfaces on every product. Propellers would be checked by using pitchometer and pitch corrections would be made in tolerance level. Grinding and polishing. Highly skilled laborers are there to provide smooth blade surfaces with accurate pitch distributions. Service and maintenance, pitch correction, reshaping and brazing of damaged propellers. The manufacturing process for a submarine involves several complex steps from initial concept to launch and operation. Because nuclear submarines are only manufactured for military use, the decision to build them is made by a national government. In the United States, the Undersea Warfare Division of the Navy is responsible for requesting that a group of submarines be manufactured. Next, the hull is constructed out of 2-3 to three inch steel plates which are cut to size with acetylene torches and formed on rollers under immense pressure. The plates are rolled until the desired curve is achieved. Using a wooden frame, the hull is constructed from multiple steel plates welded together. The inner hull is made from several welded sections and the two hulls are connected with steel ribs. To allow the submarine to stay upright, the outer hull extends only as far as the top and bottom of the inner hull. Steel plates are used to form watertight compartments, and steel bulkheads and decks are welded into place. The welding seams on the exterior hull are polished until smooth, which makes the hull easier to paint and add protective coatings to, while providing a streamlined profile. The hull is surrounded by scaffolding, allowing workers to reach all parts of it. The external components are welded or otherwise attached. Certain components, such as sonar equipment, are attached to the hull then covered with smooth sheets of steel in order to reduce friction during underwater travel. Large equipment is placed within the inner hull as it is being built. Smaller equipment is brought into the inner hull after it is completed. The submarine is launched before much of the interior equipment is installed. After the launching ceremony, the submarine is towed into a fitting out dock, where work on the interior continues. Vital components such as periscopes, snorkels, engines, and electronic equipment are installed. Equipment for the comfort of the crew, such as refrigerators, electric stoves, air conditioners, and washing machines are also installed at this time. The nuclear reactor begins operating as the submarine begins its first sea trials. The crew is trained during an Atlantic Ocean cruise. Weapons are launched and tested, often in waters off Andros Island in the Bahamas. The submarine is officially commissioned in a ceremony which changes its designation from Pre-Commissioning Unit PCU, to United States Ship USS. The submarine then undergoes a shakedown cruise before entering active service. 
quality control is more important than any manufactured part to ensure the safe and efficient operation of a nuclear submarine. All parts are inspected before they are installed, from the wiring to the steel plates that make up the hull. The nuclear reactor is subject to especially stringent pad extensive quality testing. As the nuclear submarine plays a vital role in defense and the lives of the crew depend on its safe operation, quality control is crucial. Pipes are filled with helium to check for leaks. Every piece of equipment is checked to see if it is in good working order. Welding is x-rayed to ensure its quality. Steel plates are examined to ensure their dimensions are accurate to within 1 16th of an inch. During sea trials, the speed and maneuverability of the submarine, as well as its ability to stay undetected, are tightly monitored to ensure the vessel meets strict necessary requirements. Now we will take a look to see how Korean manufactured submarine by their own. The domestically produced 3,000-ton mid-class submarine on new on November 2020 was unveiled at a launching ceremony four years after its construction began. Built with domestic technology, the vessel is 83.3 meters long and 9.6 meters wide with a top speed of 20 knots, 37 kilometers per hour, and can hold around 50 crew. The An Yu is in the same 3000 ton Jongbogo 3 class as the Dosan An Chang Ho. The Republic of Korea Navy's first domestically produced submarine launched in September 2018. The latest vessel is around twice the size of a Jongbogo 2 submarine and can remain underwater for up to two weeks. Its built-in technologies include naval combat and sonar navigation systems, with around 76% of the parts produced at home. It is equipped with vertical launching tubes for submarine-launched ballistic missiles that would enable the vessel to carry out precision strikes at key ground targets in a strategic contingency mission. Bonus part of video would be about the MSC cruises named Meravilia. Meaning, wonder, in Italian, the 167,000 ton, 4,500 guest MSC Meravilia will dazzle you with her beauty. Sea Cruises newest flagship and first of its ultra-modern Vista class, debuted in 2017. Combining comfort with state-of-the-art technology, she provides an ideal and exciting way to see the world. As one of the largest cruise ships ever built, the amenity-filled ship is an incredible destination in itself. One of MSC Meraviglia's many highlights is the show-stopping promenade, lined with chic restaurants and bars.
Its entire ceiling covered by a huge LED screen that displays changing vistas and atmospheres throughout the day and night. Nightly parades with performers add to the fun atmosphere. Enticing amenities also include a two-story aft lounge, a solarium with a pool and a variety of specialty restaurants. Onboard features include jaw-dropping entertainment and the fleet's largest and enhanced MSC Yacht Club. Cutting-edge technology on this smart ship allow guests to access staterooms, make payments, as well as geolocate children, friends and onboard locations by using their cruise card or smartphone.